Wow, nice going, Alina. I've been riding downtown with the car I live in. I wanna go shopping. Oh, oh my God, you guys! I haven't seen you in the longest time. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys. I'm gonna go now. <laughs> yeah, I gotta go too. <laughs> Well, I guess since we're all sharing our confessions, 
questions. I mean, I've been trying to shop away my problems, I guess, but I've just been digging myself a deeper hole. I really need God's help to stop living in such a materialistic world. I was really self-centered too. I mean, my relationship with Jimmy was pretty much all about me. I forgot that our relationships are supposed to be for God. Me too. I saw my world falling apart, and I doubted him. I didn't see the ways he wanted me to go stronger, the ways he wanted me to serve my brother and my father. And God's still there for you if you want to accept him as your personal savior. We're forgiven and free. Because Jesus died on the cross for us, he shed his blood and God forgave our sins. And he freed us from our problems, from the sin that was keeping us from eternity with him. And, you know, God has a plan for everyone, every single one of you guys out here. And you know, it might not seem like it, you might wonder sometimes, where's God in my life? But you know that he's still with you. And we don't need to worry about what's going to happen, because God knows exactly what is going to happen. And you know, I've been out here for quite a while, but it's taken me a while to realize that the thing I need most isn't really a car or money or a house, but it's his word. Here. And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good, for those who are called according to his purpose. For those whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, in order that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. And those whom he predestined, he also called. And those whom he called, he also justified. And those whom he justified, he also glorified. What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also with him graciously give us all things? Who shall bring any charge against God's elect? It is God who justifies. Who is to condemn? Christ Jesus is the one who died. More than that, who is raised? Who is at the right hand of God? Who indeed is interceding for us? Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or danger, or sword? As it is written, for your sake we are being killed all day long. We are regarded as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am sure that neither death nor life, nor angels nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord.